all who journey to this newfound paradise, we welcome you. Indigo Park offers a slice of the American dream to call your own. In this place, echoes of days gone are brought back to life as a new generation captures a glimpse of the exciting potential of tomorrow. Indigo Park pays homage to the values, dreams, and unwavering truths that gave rise to our great nation. Here you embark on the journey of a lifetime, a place of creativity, joy, and fantasy, where your dreams hope. <laughs> Welcome to Windigo Park, Chapter 1, Birds of a Feather. I've heard good things about this one, and most of all, it's free, so let's go over it and see what it's all about. Push. Can I push? No. No, I cannot. False advertisement. Ah. <sighs> and our first objective is to find a way into the park. No clue on what I have to do, so let's just explore a bit. What is that? Found a collectible. Visit an information kiosk to find more. Okay, I'll keep an eye. Ooh. No, that's not it. That's just a window. Is that another one? It is. <laughs> Two. And so close to each other. Ooh, okay. So. Rangiers? Only? Wranglers? Hi there, oh. and welcome to Indigo Park! The world's most innovative and engaging family fun experience! Jump into the world of your favorite character! Can't wait! You're our first guest in 2,920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds! Congratulations! I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be! Just hop on over to the registration center to your left! where our friendly assistant will help you begin your adventure in the park. That's over eight years since anyone's been around. How's everything so destroyed over there? Hi, I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is registered. Let me just get a good look at you. Hmm, I don't seem to have your face in our guest list. Is this your first time here at the park, or did you just get plastic surgery? No worries, it's Rambly Tuesday, so you qualify for a big discount on your visit. Just follow me to the main gate. Ooh, I can't wait for you to see everything Indigo Park has to offer. <laughs> Is this your first visit or did you get plastic surgery? Great line. So where is the main gate? What's the hold up? The gate is open. Head on into the entryway. Okay, my bad. I see it, but... Hmm, hold on. My mistake. The gate is not open. There seems to be an error message being sent from the gate's power unit. Lucky you! You get to be the first person to try our Turn on the Generator Mini Rambly Venture! Have fun! Uh, something tells me that's not really an adventure. Ah, the Indigo Violet Compact Power Generator. But it seems to be inoperable. Looks like it's missing a piece. Can you find it? I would sure hope so, because if I spend the rest of the video just looking for it, I'll never hear the end of it. Oh, hey, another one of those. Hold shift while walking to sprint, okay. Oh, found a cog, a gear. So, that should be it, right? Oh, the door is closed. I don't like that. So, it should just be to put the gear in place and then... Are we done? Are we there yet? Okay, for real this time. Welcome to Indigo Park! Oh, I love me attraction parks on video games. I never really got to go on any as a kid. 
Uh, or as an adult, for that matter, there's just not many around, if any. Are those collectibles or just plushies for me to see? Critter Corner and welcome! Oh, silly Ramley! Every guest needs a Critter Cuff! That will allow you access to reserve areas, charge payments to your room, and wear a Critter Cuff! I think there's some in the gift shop. Head in there and I'll get you set up! Ah, of course, the privilege of wearing a bracelet or something. So, can I pick up literally anything? I mean, the merch sounds kind of cool, I guess that's just a plushie or something. I mean, the, the dragon kind of looked like an inflatable. A new way to interact with the park that also doubles as a pedometer, heart monitor, and mood ring. Data disclosure agreement included. Of course, the AI is collecting my uh oh the door data. mysteriously locked. Why not test out your band and save the day? Really? Thank you for the tutorial, Mr. Raccoon. But, uh, where is it? Oh, never mind. Maybe just don't stare at the door and instead look around. Hooray! Great work, buddy! Now try entering the park and we can start our indigo adventure! Yeah, I cannot say I'm in a rush. It is a horror game after all. So, let's take our time. Especially since, ah, oh, they had to include collectibles, now I want everything. Hmm. Indigo Park concessions, ice cold drinks. What else? That's just the logo. We got some pretzel dog. Is that a thing? Ooh, a vending machine. Can I get anything from it? No. Oh man, I even have a Half Life joke in mind. Well, it was just an Easter egg. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to make you forget. And uh, first off, I get the loading screen, I don't get the path being locked behind me. Uh, let's go to the men's restroom first. Oh no, the place looks so creepy. And I'm complaining, but I do prefer the creepy horror games rather than the ones with fights and constant chases. So, shouldn't really complain. That's another collectible. Although, I was saying that, but dreading the experience is part of why I enjoy the experience. Hi, test, buddy. Looks like the park is going through some... renovations. For the inconvenience, your Rambly Tuesday discount will be... free. Percent off! Why not celebrate this great deal with a ride on my railroad? To test your sleuthing skills, I'll let you find this one all by yourself. Three percent off. I like that. Hey, Rambly's Railroad. Let's see what you're all about. There's Rambly. Oh, uh, just don't move. Or anything like that. I wonder, can I jump over the fence? Oh, I cannot. Okay then, no jump cuts. Sure. Full experience. Your facial data suggests you may be a bit older than the target audience for this ride. But it's one of my favorites. Do you know why Rambly the raccoon loves Rambly's railroad? Target? I like trains. Ah, you like trains, right after calling me a kid. It's almost like you're making a reference to the I like trains kid. Although, yeah, I, I don't think I'm the main target audience either. Okay, another loading screen. And some cheery music. So, what's up? A tour? Welcome to Rambly's Railroad. I'm Conductor Rambly. Sure thing, Rambly. Oh, okay then. Oh, no, apparently everything is fine. That's odd. Oh, look, it's Molly McCaw. It's Molly McCaw, the greatest pilot you ever saw. You sure are, Mo. Why, you only crashed into six bars this week. I'm not crashing, Rambly. I'm barnstorming. <laughs> What's barnstorming? It's crashing with style. It barely hurts at all. Say, those young adventurers Really? Barnstorming? What else do you have for me? What is this? Seagull? Coconut tree? Oh, a dead seagull! And the... Uh... Oh, Finley! Come on out and greet the people! I really... Why the long face and body? You've known me for 100 years, Rambly. I'm always long, 
because I'm always longing for a new seashell for my collection. Oh, Finley, you should come out of your shell. How about you come into it instead? My ride, Oceanic Odyssey, will teach you all about the wonders down under the deep blue sea. It's as blue as me. Uh, I hope you'll visit. I'm so lonely. Oceanic Odyssey currently closed for repairs. Oh, hey, it's the donkey from Winnie the Pooh. All depressed and stuff. And really, this is your favorite ride? The introduction tour. Uh, oh, guess we have to move on on foot. Get the ride back up and running. Oh, so we just have to fix it. Hmm, there's something in the wall. Yeah, it's a passage. Oh, this looks creepy. Yeah, no, I, I'm not enjoying the noises. Why am I using headphones right now? Okay, another cog machine, so... Could it be another collectible? It is. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we'll take you. We need to find another one. Should be around. Oh, there we go. Nice. So that should do it, I think. Oh, police don't have Molly malfunction. Weirdly enough, everything's been chill. It's just atmospheric, which is fine. I know how this works. It's called a false sense of security, but I'm on to you. Peter Lloyd. Do not shave me with that common folk name. I am the proud, the prestigious, the professional Lloydford L. Lion, actor extraordinaire. Great act, Lloyd. Okay, I guess we found the antagonist that doesn't even have a reason to be one. I guess? So, what do you think? Pretty fun, right? Now you know all about my friends and Lloyd. So, where do you want to go? I, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll just explore to see if I find more collectibles, see where I can go into, and then we'll go everywhere. How about that? And, yeah, yeah, let's, let's just say it. Are you trying to develop a game or a marketing team? Jesus! Maybe uh, make a whole game before the whole merch. <laughs> I can't even fault them for that. They weren't the ones to start it. It's just, don't complain if you hear the same criticisms eventually. Sorry, box for a coffee, are you insane? At that point, just buy a coffee machine or even better. Make coffee the old way. Oh. Hey buddy, come over here. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do. I want more collectibles. Is there anything else? Okay, fine. This here is an information kiosk. If there's anything around the park you want to ask me about, just stop by here and I'll ramble on about it. Okay, let's go over the ones we found. First off, Raction Figure. It's the all-new Rambly the Raccoon Raction Figure. Cool to see there's some in condition ones still in the park. Oh, oh, I got this! I know the commercial by heart! Wow! It's the unlimited edition Bradley the Raccoon Raction figure! Push him down and he jumps! Push him up and he does it! Only $19.99 at your favorite toy store! <laughs> Push him up and he doesn't! Of course. Of course. Souvenir Cup. When I was a kid, they used to have free unlimited refills on these things. I once drank so much bird up that I got sick and threw up while riding rooftop races. That poor kid behind me. Ooh, that's a rambly cup. Nothing beats the taste of fresh rambleberry juice drunk directly out of my plastic lifeless head. That's a way to put it. Okay. Gold rambly plush. So, wait. They were so money hungry that they just recolored rambly and called it a new product. Kinda lazy, don't you think? Wow, is that a limited edition gold rambling plush? Parents were fighting tooth and nail for those things when they came out. Seriously, our employees had to clean up so many stray teeth and nails. Hard to believe there was all that demand for a regular rambling plush we just blasted with gold spray paint. If that's the lore, that's the lore. Molly plush. I remember when my mom took us to the parks one summer, her favorite was always Molly. So, when they first opened the new Molly Meet and Greet in the Jetstream Junction, we were some of the first in line. Oh, a Molly plush! 
She's always been my best friend. Did you know she builds planes in her landing pad at the park? And then she crashes them. She's so talented. <laughs> Follow your goals, I guess. Finally plush. The sea serpent always kind of freaked me out. I love aquariums and fish, but the size of him always made me feel uneasy as a kid. Ooh, you found my buddy Finley. You know, he's really shy. Like, too shy. Like, obnoxiously shy. But he's got a good heart. I hope you get to meet him someday. Mm -mm. Okay, I, I understand where the horror is gonna come from. Lloyd Plush. I feel like, as a kid, Indigo used Lloyd a lot more. He was always one of my favorites. Okay, I'm no joke curious about what's up. Rambly plush. Ah, there's my buddy. Kinda feels like Rambly has a whole empire now, being the main man of Indigo and all. Congratulations! You found me! Don't I look adorable? Honestly, yeah. And Rambly ears. I remember watching those old DVDs that Indigo would send to your house when you booked the reservation. They always advertised the biggest gift shops and made all this silly merch look so fun. Dad promised me he'd buy me a pair when we went. Well, did he? Rambly ears! Those used to fly off the shelves! That pair is pretty damaged, though. Keep your eyes peeled. There's gotta be at least one more mint condition set out there somewhere. Like a yard sale! I feel like you're making these easy to find just so... Huh? It's not working. Okay. As I was saying, just so we keep collecting Well, them. look at that! You're at Jetstream Junction! Oops! Looks like Jetstream Junction's being tuned up. Last I checked, there's a security office in the back of the theater. Maybe a friendly wrangler can help you get in. But that's the place that was just locked up. Oh, can I even trust Rambly? This could all be a ruse. He might be doing it on purpose. Or maybe he's just an extremely naive AI with control of the whole play. There's something on the stage. Oh, it's a big pl. No, it's moving. Oh, okay. There's gonna be a chase scene. Oh, I don't like those. Hoping it's well done, instead of just for the hey, sake buddy. of it. I've got eyes all over the park, but I can't see anything behind the stage. If you're going back there, be careful. Your critter cop is not yet able to resuscitate you. Ah, so this really isn't a walking simulator. And we now have some classical music. Wait, can I turn it off? There's a whole freaking ass lion plushy something coming after me and I'm making noise. Not my smartest moment. Okay, I guess it shut up by itself. But, oh, now the ambient sound is ominous. <sighs> Wranglers only. Well, let's go face a lion, shall we? Lloyd. Where are you, my man? My lion, my bro. Oh no. Hearing noises. Maybe it's scripted. Maybe it's just gonna be a jump scare, not a chase. We'll see. That's a big plushie. Cannot collect it. What kind of storage is this, man? Oh no, no, no. What? What do I even do? Wait, let's go get the, the kill scene. Where is it? It was just a jump scare. That's so stupid. I could have stared at it. Oh, I'm never gonna forgive myself. I'll take the key. And wait, there's more noise. He's going up. Hmm. <sighs> they're, they're, they wouldn't do two jump scares, so get ready to be chased. Nothing. That's odd. Huh. Okay then, the jet stream junction. Ooh. Really? Saved by white noise or something? I'll take it. You won't see me complain. You also won't me see me walking. Let's run. Jet stream junction. Let's go and lock it. So, what's next? Huh. Don't know what I was expecting, but check out Molly's rooftop races. It's not far from here, and it's a great warm-up before we get into the bigger rides. Just take it up at Molly's landing pad. I'll one-up you, buddy. How about I check everything you have for me, huh? So that's the races, that's the garage. And 
And there's another room. Oh, and there's the landing pod over there. Okay, then. Hmm. An arcade machine. I wonder. Oh, we can interact with it. Oh no, Molly's plane crashed somewhere in Rambleberry Woods. I better find her and make sure she's okay. Now, the minigame is fairly simple. You just collect the, the fruits. You can jump and double jump and yada yada. However, if you're not careful, you might have to do it again. Anyways, there's not really much to it, so let's skip to the end. Which, fun fact, completing this, which is optional, will give us another collectible. And here's Molly. Molly! What happened? Ugh. Hey, Rambly. I was flying through the woods, but suddenly I couldn't see a thing. Ooh, someone new that we don't know about. Solemn. Looks like my smoke screen made her crash right on target. Salem, I should have known you were behind this. You shady skunk, let her go. Nah. How's about I try my new potion on her instead? I am tired of wasting it on squirrels. Molly, look out! Okay, guess you got zombified or something. Uh, boss fight, I guess. Too slow, dumpster face. Dumpster face. What, what did you do to her? Meet the new and improved Molly McCall. Now with none of that friendship garbage, stopping her from tearing you to pieces. I wonder what she really thinks of you now. Have fun finding out. And yes, boss fight. So, she touches you, you lose uh, berries. But if you double jump, you uh, can damage her. And as you can see, I'm really bad at this. Uh, fortunately, I did it first try, so let's skip to the end as well. Uh. Okay. Guess I did it. And hey, another collectible, so it was worth doing. Though I don't think we can go back to that kiosk, so hopefully we'll find another one. There was nothing in the garage, by the way. In the rooftop, by going left, you find another plushie, and by going right, well, there's this. Oh no! This is horrible! Uh, looks like Molly crashed into the right again! Don't worry, though. Your pal Rambly has the repairman on speed dial. We're sorry. The number you have dialed has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. Uh, say, why don't you check out Molly's landing pad? It's not far from here and it's a great cooldown after that exhilarating ride. Just take a down from Molly's rooftop races. I wonder if Salem is just part of the arcade or if there's actually a potion that turned them evil or something. Okay, so that's closed, and there's obviously a star on the wall, so... Huh. So I'm gonna need to find all those shapes. Place is huge. Yeah, not really seeing anything for them, so I'm guessing we'll have to explore. Purple star, very obvious. Oh, and that... okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Let's play and then the lights go out. I'm sure we'll find Molly. Well, how about we uh, explore this bit first. Let's see if there's any cool sliding down mechanic. Hmm, bet we'll have to unlock that with the puzzles. It's probably a shortcut. That's just the other way to come here. That's Molly and... Uh, Rambly. Oh, we cannot slide down. I mean, understandable, but still, still. <sighs> fine, fine. I know something's coming, I just don't know when. Oh, oh. Okay, she's fleeing. Yeah, good, good. Just go upstairs, I'll continue over here. 
So I'll have to keep in mind shapes and stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. But at the same time, that is a scripted event, so... I'm not worried. It's not like she's chasing me. Okay, we can go down on this one. Oh, we gotta choose. So... Oh, that's the entrance. Ah, let's see if I missed anything. Okay, so this wasn't closed. We can actually go and chase her, even though she apparently teleports. Cool. Red star. Okay. There's no game over screen, that is nice. We can just try again. So, red star. Anything over there? Nope. It's simply where we were. Hmm. Green triangle. So, red star, green triangle. Red star. Green triangle. Yeah, I got this. And blue star. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. E ooh. <laughs> Re red and blue stars. Green triangle. And I guess I missed the, the yellow one. Okay, so. That's a star. You are also a star. That's already a triangle, so let's just keep trying this one. It was the circle. And now we go into the landing pod. Hmm. And right now the atmosphere and the creepiness is on point. But I doubt... I doubt there's not gonna be a single chase scene. Okay, we gotta go over this one as well. That is close. Where does that lead? Oh, can we go around? Doesn't work. That is closed. Why though? And that's the way to go. Oh, hello. Oh, I, actually, actually. Let's see. Okay then. So it is a chase. So there might have been another confrontation with Lloyd. The first one. If I hadn't run, even though he didn't chase me, well, Molly will! And uh, it's not pleasant. Especially because I have no idea where to go. Right. I say right, and then I go left. Oh, that's so me. But also, I was just talking about my figure of speech, because I did go right the first time, and well, she caught me. So, now I'm going left. Now, I did find it odd that I got it right on my second attempt, so either this was extremely easy or I was extremely lucky. I have no doubt about it. It had to be one of those two things. But yeah, it was chill. Ah, there you are, buddy. Where were you? Wait, hold on. Just wait, only. There is no staff, only me and you. So. Oh no, I'm stuck and she's coming. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Uh, I changed my mind. I am the game's target audience. <laughs> Here we have plenty of amenities and. Uh, okay, okay. I can see in your facial tracking that you're scared. You're scary. Upset. Transparency is an important part of our policy here at Indigo Park, so I need to be honest about something. The park has been inactive for years. Employees stop showing up. Guests too. The mascots are... I just was so excited to see a visitor and I wanted to be sure you were given the best experience possible. But I was confined to the entrance for so long I didn't realize just how much disrepair the park has fallen into. I'm wasting all of your fun time. Eh, sorry for the inconvenience. But, but, I have an idea. I have access to the repair documentation in my database. I just can't execute most tasks without authorization from a human user. You must have come here because the park matters to you too, right? Would you be willing to help me restore the park? I can see in your facial tracking data that you aren't opposed to this. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get this place back in business. How can we restore it? I thought they were going to be animatronics. Not possessed animals that can die and bleed. Okay. Welcome to the crew, Rookie Wrangler. Registered. Your first official job as one of Rambly's Wranglers. Registered. Is to get out of the Rambly's Wranglers. Registered. Room. 
Head left towards the Rookie Wrangler Register security room to set yourself free. Phew, kind of exhausting to say that whole spiel. But Rambley's Wrangler's Register is a registered trademark. <laughs> that expired yesterday. But really? That was some funny dialogue, I have to give you that. And mm -mm. Dark Corridor, is that a collectible? No, plus we have that one already. How about the other one? I have Lloyd. Okay. That should be the way, I guess. Uh-oh, that Rambley's Wrangler's room is only accessible by Royal Wranglers. Maybe one day you'll grow up big and strong enough to enter it. But for now, don't. Another collectible. Not seeing Salem, though. And a loading screen, okay. More surveillance? Well, we've seen some of those before. And with Molly beaten, we're back to the park. Okay. Oh, a kiosk. Let's see. Oh, I have everything. Poodle plush. It's a weird poodle plush. Doesn't seem like an indigo product. Maybe a child left it behind? Hey, buddy. Did you dig that out of the lost and found? Or was it in the trash? No surprise I guess that our park would dispose of a non-indigo brand toy. I suppose he'd make playtime special for a child with poor taste, though. <laughs> that reverb sometimes reminds me of Gladys, Rambleberry. This popped out of the Rambly Rush arcade cabinet. How is it even possible? Do you think it's edible? Whoa, where'd you get that? Rambleberries are my favorite! Oh, if only I could jump out of the screen and take a big bite. Don't eat it! Maybe I'll be able to one day! If you're not a monster, consider it yours. Now, what else? Rambly hat. Whoa, freaky. This must be one of those masked costumes they used to use at the parks. In a weird way, I'm kinda glad they retired these. Where'd you find that? I've never seen anyone wearing one. Pretty snazzy. Ooh, looks like there's an audio recording tag with costume in my database I've never noticed before. Let's listen, let's listen! Hey Jackson, you hear about the new mascots? Yeah, think it'll put us out of a job? I think so. Old, sport, and right after we got this damn raccoon costume. Man, screw this place. I said we get our asses out of here and go straight to Vegas. Aw, oh, come on. They didn't even document the Indigo inventory ID for the costume. I was really looking forward to that. What a useless recording. Deleted. Retro Lloyd plush. I always find it weird when companies make merch that's supposed to look old. Lloyd obviously had an older look in the classic Indigo cartoons, but I'm not sure it looked like this. I guess nostalgia sells. Ugh. I don't get why we even have those. And why do they only make one of Lloyd? Is it because he's the loudest? I can be loud too! Where's my limited edition throwback plush? Where's Molly's? Where's Finley's? Give this mistake to a child and they'll cry. And this concludes the first chapter. So I'd like to give a big shout out to Steve Withal and to John Walker for their support of the channel. And to you! Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, hope I'll see you on the next one. And I hope you have a good one. You'll find a poker and porpoises, pickles and perches as far as the eye can see. But please don't tap the glass. never really know what happens. Bye! Also, they have a song. Hey buddy! You okay? You look kind of tired. Do you need a moment? Don't worry, it's fine. I don't blame you for taking a rest after all that. Heck, I could go for a nice, relaxing defragmentation myself. But before you settle down, you up for a little survey to help us improve the park? Thanks for visiting Indigo Park. Hope all your dreams came true. If you've got some time and you're up for a lark, stick around for the Rambly Review. I'm here to offer my best to each valuable guest I assist. And lots of happy feedback ensures I get to exist. Let's try it. Were you satisfied with the rides? Yes or no. Were you satisfied with your guide? I sure hope so. Do you plan to come back? Will I see you again? Did your experience convince you to tell a friend about us? Did I earn your trust? At Indigo Park. There is a stark contrast to everything I know this place should be. But out of the dark, you've given a spark of sunshine to this kingdom's faithful devotee. At Indigo Park, more than my remarks are mysteries, even I don't know what we might find. 
life of the dark And I'll be your spark of sunshine To get you out of any bind That is, if you want to keep going Oh, idea! I know all of this isn't fair to you It's an awful lot to ask But here comes Rambly Review Part 2 To sell you on our task I'm here to view and assess Each valuable guest as I learn And lots of happy feedback ensures you're gonna return I'm so happy you rode a ride I'm so happy to be your guide So come back anytime, I'd love to see you again In all my thousands of days, I've never had a friend like you At least I hope I do At Indigo Park There is a stark contrast to everything I know this place should be the dark you've given a spark of sunshine to this kingdom's faithful devotee at indigo park more than my remarks are mysteries even i don't know what we might find but fight through the dark and i'll be your spark of are united again and I won't feel so left behind okay I'll let you go see you next time buddy please